A new state task force was launched this morning to study and create possible reparations for descendants of slaves in America. As part of our series, Stories for Change, ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano explains how this effort is the first of its kind in the country. In the Constitution of the state of California. A virtual swearing in of hand selected activists, pastors, social scientists, and legislators to become members of a new task force. I was honored to sign in September of last year Assembly Bill 3121, which established this task force to study reparations for slavery. To help us develop proposals to address wounds that have too long been allowed to fester, to recommend appropriate remedies of compensation, rehabilitation, and restitution for African Americans with special consideration for descendants of those who are enslaved in the United States. The inaugural task force meeting comes exactly 100 years after the Tulsa massacre, where a mob of white residents destroyed the prosperous African-American community known as Black Wall Street, injuring more than 800 people, killing at least 30, but likely more. The bill authored by now Secretary of State Shirley Weber is the first of its kind in the nation. What does it feel like to live in a country that never says, I'm sorry? What does it feel like to be in a country where you are continually abused, misused, ignored, and no one ever stops and says, gee, we were wrong? Task Force oh, member Senator sure, Stephen yeah. Bradford already shared his ideas on what the reparations could look like. President Roosevelt came up with the GI Bill to reward the men and women who fought for this country. Reparations can surely look like that, providing free education for descendants of slaves at our Cal State and UC system, providing first-time home buyers assistance, Medicare, and child care. We believe that there's opportunity in California and that the things that happened in the past have to be reckoned with and that we must move forward. Rena. The task force has until next June 1st to submit its report to the legislature.